6 o'clock in the morning, I get an emergency call from the ER and I'm asked to resuscitate this patient. Uh, when I checked the patient's vitals, I couldn't find his blood pressure or his oxygen saturation. So I decided to intubate this patient. Uh, as I started evaluating his airway, I found that there was a lot of swelling. And so uh, it was a little difficult than the usual, but somehow I managed to do it. And I had to uh, suction out some of the blood that was in his mouth. Allegedly, this patient had a road traffic accident and uh, all of that injury turned out to be unfavorable for me as you can see here i'm doing something called as the selic maneuver uh, trying to push the vocal cords forward so i can visualize them when i try to pass the endotracheal tube at this moment i'm passing the endotracheal tube between the vocal cords and upon uh, visually confirming that it has gone through i connect the pipe the pipe that you see is called as a Baines circuit which uh, pushes in pressurized oxygen and uh, that can be confirmed in two ways one is with the stethoscope of course and the other is uh, visually by seeing the moisture in the tube that you can see here yeah if the tube is in the stomach for some reason it goes into the food pipe which it can uh, you will not see the moisture in the tube and that is another definitive sign you can see the vitals here we finally got the oxygen reading and also the blood pressure was checked manually to found uh, found it to be around uh, 110 over 80 100 over 60. Uh, you can see the chest being uh, moved with the pressurized air my good wishes to all of the budding anesthesiologists and critical care physicians this video is for you to inspire you and to develop a good strong work ethic uh -huh.